Hello YouTube, I am Thorstein from Cinema Terror, and today I have a forgotten exploitation film to discuss from none other than director Brian Trenchard Smith, known for his work on stuff like The Man from Hong Kong, Turkey Shoot, and Dead End Drive In, to name a few. This one is not even out on DVD or Blu ray anywhere from what I can see, so let's figure out if I Rode a Body from 1989 is worth hunting down. The story takes place in Sydney, Australia, where a group of brutal murders of women have started to occur, leaving the local police without any hints or clues. At the same time, a young magician named David is having strange dreams where he sees the point of view of the serial killer while the murders are happening. Of course the police only start to suspect David and not take him seriously when he goes to them, and even the women that he sees are next on this killer's hit list brush him off as a creep. His friend slash love interest tells him that he might be experiencing astral traveling, and perhaps he can use this power to get to the killer before he gets to his next victim. Ha! Now that doesn't sound all that bad, there are plenty of cool stuff that can be done with astral projection and a supernatural invisible serial killer, but I the Body fails to do much with any of that. I know it's a big no-no for film critics to reduce their opinion on films by simply calling them boring, but there is no way around it, I the Body is a grueling experience, the movie is simply boring from start to finish. The story, although it has some potential, is executed poorly, making it feel messy and incoherent. It's hard at times to understand what is happening, and there isn't much explanation given by the time it is all over. While it starts with an invisible serial killer, it ends up being a laughable possession film after a while, delivering scenes like this that are supposed to scare you, I guess. I am not sure what Trenchard Smith was going for here, and I expected way more of him than this. It feels like he just did it for the work, and couldn't care less about giving the movie any type of flair or energy. Most of the camera work are awful, and several scenes are shot the same way in some of the locations, giving the film a very repetitive feel. The film is also surprisingly lackluster when it comes to the exploitation traits, such as violence and nudity. It feels too safe, almost like it was made for TV or something like that. The acting is also pretty bad although I would say that some of them do try to give something of a performance. Mark Ambrose as David has to have a lot of intensity to him for most of the film, and it was probably not an easy job to do, so it's too bad that he didn't take place in a better film. Here he comes off as he basically runs around and screams for the entire running time, having his effort be reduced due to poor dialogue and filmmaking. Now I can't move it! It's time it grows! It gets stronger! What am I doing? I must I can't see anyone that I could recommend Out of the Body for, there are plenty of other greater films than this that deals with some of the same topics in a better way, go see The Boogeyman or Patrick instead. Or one of Trenchard Smith's other films, even BMX Bandits are better than this. Out of the Body only gets a disappointing 1 out of 5. That's pretty much all I had to say about Out of the Body. Have you seen this forgotten Australian film? Or how about recommending me some better unknown horror films from Australia? I have reviewed a much better 80s film from Australia than this called Next of Kin from 1982. So if movies from down under is your thing, then make sure to check out that video as well. More horror movie reviews and other fun stuff are coming up soon, so make sure to subscribe and all of that good stuff, and until next time, thank you for watching Cinema Terror. <laughs>